Hey everyone and welcome to this, my video on the Parabola. Oh, my name is Darren from Maths Guru. Really, really good to meet you. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Hopefully you're going to find it useful. Uh, before I get into this, can I ask a massive favour and you just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Huge if people subscribe. Just basically lets me know that people out there are watching. I get no other feedback otherwise. I mean, by all means, please leave comments on this video. Um, but that subscribing, it, it, when my uh, numbers go up by three at the end of the day, I, I go literally mad. It's, it's ridiculous uh, how excited I get from three extra subscribers. So if you can be one of those for today, that would be greatly appreciated. Right, what are we doing? Oh, did I mention MathsGuru.com? Oh, basically everything I'm about to write on behind me, you can download from MathsGuru.com. All of these videos are in order for year 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. And hopefully could be a really good resource for you to use. Please tell your math teacher as well. Learning objectives. Understand that a quadratic equation when drawn is a parabola. We've been talking about this in lots of the previous videos. And again, they are available on MathsGuru.com. We've got to be able to draw parabolas. That's where we're moving to this. Finding solutions, know what they mean. And understand what an axis of symmetry is, right? We've talked a little bit about parabolas being symmetrical. Um, and, and just taking that a little bit further, we talk about something called an axis of symmetry and turning points. Right, a recap. Let's just go back. The whole point of what we've been doing previously in solving quadratics is to effectively find important points of the graph. Now, when we solve and find solutions to quadratics, we're finding these points here, these crossing points. We've said that a graph, a parabola, and this is called a parabola, can cross in two places, like this one does. It crosses the x-axis in two places. It could touch just once, which is basically a perfect square, or it might never touch, in which case, in that situation, it would have no solutions. And the maths that we've done previously in linear, we can use to help us here find solutions, right? But again, this is really important for your summary book that it can have two, one, or zero solutions. And being able to solve these uh, is, is really important. Right, now a parabola is a U shape, or in fact, it can be an N shape. So in this situation here, our parabola is a beautiful U shape. Now the way we know that is when our X squared term, regardless of what our value is in front of it, um, or rather, when we have this x squared term, we always want this here to be a positive number. One, two, three, four, so on. All right, when that's positive, when the number in front of the x squared is positive, we get this lovely u shape here. If that value there was negative and we had like minus ax squared, for example, then my parabola would actually flip the other way. Yeah, so the, the, the sort of the positive and negativeness of the x squared term becomes really important because we know it has a u or an n shape. Now, it is symmetrical. These things are symmetrical, yeah? And if I was to draw, put a mirror down this line here, then we would find that this part of my graph and that part of my graph there would be identical. So actually, this line down here has a special name. And it's called, believe it or not, the axis of symmetry. Because symmetry is basically, you remember way back to year seven where you had to cut shapes in half and do the line of symmetry? Well, in here, if we just call it an axis of symmetry. And because we've done linear, we would know that if I was to draw a straight line through here, is it going to turn that into a straight line for me? Pretty much. Not exactly in the right place. I don't think it's going to let me move it over, though. Let's see if it'll let me move it over. Are you going to let me move it over? Oh, you will. There you go. So in that situation, we know that vertical lines have an equation of, in that situation, x equals minus 2. Yeah, Because all of the x points along that line would be negative 2. And remembering all this stuff becomes really, really important. So that's the axis of symmetry. It's the, where we cut it through the middle. Now, the axis of symmetry actually goes through a really important point. And in this one here, it goes through that point there. Now, the very lowest part of a parabola is called the minimum. So being able to find the minimum is also really, really important. And again, we'll come back to the moment. But if I had it the other way, it wouldn't be called the minimum. <laughs> minimum? Minimum. It would be called the maximum because that would be the highest point my graph would go to. Now, what I need you to realize that's really quite important is the coordinate of that point there, I already know the x value. Because, if you think about it, the axis of symmetry goes through that point there. And I know the axis of symmetry has an x value of minus 2. So this point here, all right, that lowest point there, 
would have to start with negative two. And all we would need to do is find my y value. But how could I find my y value? Well, if I knew the equation, I'd be able to find the y value. And that's really the trick to all of this. So last thing to notice is if I have these two coordinates here, the chances are I could come up with a quadratic that had those two crossing points. And again, we've talked that previously. So here is some examples of a parabola. Let's have a look at the important points from this parabola. And we're always looking for important points. And as I've said in previous videos, important points are where it crosses here, the minimum value and the y-axis intercept. So let's have a look here. So we know that our intercepts are given by, all right, so let's do my x-intercepts first, is given by minus four zero and uh, two comma zero. So all I've done there is read off these two values here.